Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 1257, Auto Copy, a Pivot Table. Well, hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill John. Today's question is sent in by Diane. Diane's from Alabama. If you have a question for the podcast, uh, drop me a note, bill at mrexcel.com. Let me uh, know. We'll try and get you on a future podcast episode. Diane had a question about pivot tables. Uh, she had seen one of my seminars where I was able to replicate a pivot table for every uh, region or something like that. I want to show you how to do that. But first of all, let's build the pivot table. So I'll do insert pivot table, click OK. We get a brand new sheet. Uh, let's put uh, customer going down the left hand side, uh, revenue in the values area. And I'm going to take date and put date in the column labels. Now I want to take these dates and roll them up to years. So we'll go to group, group field and choose just years. Click OK, so that way we see 2010, 2011. Now, uh, you know, there's lots of different customers here. I really don't want to see all those. I want to see maybe just the top uh, 10 or 5 or something like that. So we choose top 10, uh, and we can actually ask for the top 5 customers. Click OK, and there's our report of the top 5. All right, now that's great. That's for the whole company, but I want to produce this report for each regional manager. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the region field and drag it to the report filter. Now this would allow us to create a report for one regional manager. We're going to do something uh, better than that. Uh, we're going to take the uh, inside the pivot table, go to the pivot table options tab. Let me bring that back. So we're on the pivot table tools options tab. On the left hand side, you're going to have a large button over there called options. Don't want you to go to that button. I want, to, want you to go to the drop down next to options where there is something called show report filter pages. Show report filter pages, they give us a list of all the items up here in the report filter. In this case, there's only one. I want you to watch the bottom of the screen when I do this. My current pivot table is on sheet two. When I click OK, look at that. It just gave me a brand new sheet. Uh, so here's the top five customers in Midwest. Here's the top five customers in Northeast, uh, the top five customers in Southern California, and so on. All right. Now, at this point, I always realize, oh, I should have gotten the formatting exactly right. Uh, before I created this because, of course, uh, even now I want to change the format of the numbers and a few other things. So easy enough, we just go back, delete all the extra sheets, click OK. We'll choose that revenue field in pivot table options, go back to active field, field settings, and change the number format. Let's use a nice currency with zero decimal places, click OK. Maybe on the design tab, uh, choose a different layout, uh, so choose green and uh, banded rows. There we go. All right, so now we have the perfect report, nicely formatted. Actually, I want to get rid of column labels and row labels. Where is that? That's uh, over here. Uh, call the field headers. Good. And then finally, back to pivot table. Don't click on options. Go to the options drop down, the drop down next to options. Show report filter pages. Click OK. And there we have it. Midwest, Northeast, Northwest, and so on. A great way to replicate a report for every region, product, customer, whatever you would need. I want to thank Diane for sending that question in. Thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.